Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2012 Honda Odyssey. Here we have our Takancha, part number 118521. Here in the middle we have our Hopkins, part number HM1114314. And finally, here on the end here, we have our Kurt, part number C56118. Now, regardless of the kit you choose, they're all gonna end up with the same. We're gonna have a four pole flat on the inside of our vehicle, and it's gonna stay there until we're ready to use it. And simply just run the wire down, and the door will shut on it. And we can hook up our trailer. Now, now that we've seen the end result, why don't we take a closer look and look at some of the differences. Now, each one of these kits is going to protect your vehicle from any back feeding from your trailer. And the way they do that is each one of these kits has a module box that's going to prevent any back feeding or any problems on your trailer from coming back to your vehicle. Now, the main difference in the boxes are going to be the size. The Kurt and the Hopkins are roughly the same thickness, but the Kurt is a little smaller and the Takancha is much larger, but it does also have a plug so it's not permanently attached, so it might be a little easier to find somewhere to mount it. And the Kurt and the Takancha both come with double-sided tape, whereas the Hopkins has two tabs on the end here and you can run a zip tie through it to secure it that way. Now all of these are gonna plug in at the back on the driver's side at the fuse panel behind the seat. Now, as you can see on the Takancha and the Hopkins, there's a T-connector, and that's if your vehicle has a backup sensor. Now, the Kurt does not have a, a T-connector. This will simply plug directly into your fuse panel, but it is not compatible with vehicles that have a backup sensor. Now, each kit's gonna come with all your hardware, zip ties and fuses that you will need to install it, now, the Kurt is a little different on how they decided to route their fuses. You're gonna have an inline fuse that connects to the battery, whereas the Hopkins and the Takancha are gonna plug a fuse directly into your fuse panel. Now, one of the nice benefits of the Hopkins is that, again, they do all have a four pole flat on the end, but the Hopkins has this nice sheathing to protect the wire. Now, one thing I do wanna bring up also is that with the Kurt here, on the end of our wire, we actually have two feet more wire than the other kits, so you're gonna have a little more leeway when hooking up your trailer. And finally, one more difference between our kits is they're all gonna have a protective cap for our four pole, but the Takancha here is gonna be built in, whereas the Hopkins and the Kurt are gonna be removable and replaceable. So in summary, as far as vehicle protection goes, each one of our kits are gonna protect our vehicle in case anything happens on the trailer end. As far as ease of installation goes, each one of our kits are going to install pretty much the same and have the same end result. As far as vehicle backup sensors goes, our Takancha and Hopkins are going to take it because you're still going to be able to retain that from the factory. Now the Kurt, however, is not going to be compatible with it. And finally, as far as ease of use goes, I think the Kurt's going to take this one just because of the extra two feet of wire that we have before our four pole. And that'll finish up our look at the best wiring options for your Honda Odyssey. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.